Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. As promised, today I will be showing you how to make my quick and easy blue cheese dip. That is a perfect companion for my keto buffalo wings and my keto buffalo cauliflower bites. So if you haven't seen those videos before, please do check them out. Or you can use this blue cheese dip as a spread for crackers or on celery. This entire recipe took me about five minutes to make which included the time I needed to assemble all my ingredients. So it really is quick and easy. And if you're wondering what the taste of this keto blue cheese dip is like, one of my sons who is not a blue cheese fan described it this way. It's well balanced without an overpowering blue cheese taste, but has a nice bit of tanginess and he liked it, which was a great endorsement since I said he doesn't like blue cheese. Through this recipe video, I will describe what I did to ensure that it didn't have an overpowering taste. Also, it helps my channel out greatly if you can watch the entire video right to the end and check out the end links, which I handpick as recommendations if you like this video. And if you can watch to the end, I'll also give you a hint as to my next video. So that you can judge how much dip you can have, here are the macronutrients for this blue cheese dip, which has a ratio of 4.5 to 1 with 1.5 gram of total carbs and net carbs because there's no detectable fiber within a single serving, which is 2 tablespoons or 30 grams. Here are the 7 ingredients for this recipe. For best results, I highly recommend you use freshly squeezed lemon juice, not the prepared stuff that's usually found in a bottle and also freshly grate your garlic. The blue cheese is somewhat pricey compared to other cheeses, so do use fresh ingredients to get the best flavor out of this dip. Just a quick note, there are many different kinds of blue cheeses. Some are really expensive, but for this blue cheese dip, you really shouldn't buy an expensive kind. Buy a good one, but at the lower end of the price range. With price and quality in mind, I bought this Stilton blue cheese. I'm going to prepare this dip in a single bowl which I usually serve it in, but because I'm going to be taking thumbnails, I'm going to transfer it, of course. I'm not fond of dirty dishes, so why dirty an extra bowl? And if you notice, I'm putting the bowl directly on my scale. In this way, I can both make and measure it at the same time that I add the ingredients into the bowl. Just remember, before you start, tear the scale, which means push the button that makes it go to zero, and also tear it or zero it before adding the next ingredient. I always start my recipe with the blue cheese, which I crumble into very small pieces. Also, this Stilton blue cheese has a bit of a milder flavor without being too strong or overpowering like more mature, older blue cheeses. And the link for the printable blue cheese dip recipe, as well as a link for the, all the other videos I mentioned, will be posted under the description section. Next I'm adding my mayonnaise. Oh my god, I almost made a faux pas and added the quantity needed for the sour cream. So I'd better remove some of the extra mayonnaise and adjust it so that it's the correct weight. As I showed with my ingredients, you can use whatever mayonnaise is available to you and that you like, or if you prefer, you can buy an avocado oil-based mayonnaise. I'll also provide a link for this product in the description below. The next ingredient I added was a sour cream. I would highly recommend that you look around and get the highest fat sour cream you can. My premium sour cream is about 18% fat and the other really important thing you have to do is read the label and make sure that there are no extra ingredients like many sour creams which have cornstarch. And as you know, cornstarch is a no-no on the keto diet. So always read the labels for any food you buy in your grocery store, especially if it's a prepared or processed product. Then add your freshly squeezed lemon juice. Freshly squeezed is so much more flavorful than the stuff you get in a bottle. And I think that this fresh lemon juice helps to temper the taste of the blue cheese if you're not a fan. Add the salt and pepper. Next I added my grated garlic and here I zoomed in so that you could see it better. Once you've added all of your ingredients, just use the fork to stir everything together. And while you're stirring and combining all the ingredients, you should break up any large chunks of blue cheese. Having smaller, more uniform chunks of cheese will ensure that every time that you taste the dip, it will have the same taste and texture. 
And this is all there is to making this blue cheese dip. Now just let the blue cheese dip rest in order for the taste to develop. To do this, I cover my bowl with cling wrap and refrigerate for three to four hours as a minimum, but I usually like to make it the day before to bring out the full flavor. When you're ready to serve the blue cheese dip, just take the bowl out of the fridge, put the blue cheese dip in the center of a platter and assemble your keto buffalo wings around it. And don't forget the celery sticks. Or you can use the blue cheese dip with keto buffalo bites. And also this blue cheese dip goes perfectly with my tortilla chips. And lastly, if you don't have the time or don't want to, you can replace the buffalo cauliflower bites and the tortilla chips with just a big platter of celery and carrot sticks, along with your wings, of course. I hope that you will enjoy this easy to make blue cheese dip as you and your friends watch the Super Bowl or when you're just hanging out with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video right to the end. And if you like my videos, please subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share my channel with your friends and family, and please leave me a comment and tell me if you're team one. And please come back and check out my next video, which will be my cheesy bacon poppers. Hopefully I'll get them in time for the Super Bowl as well. But these are really good anytime.